Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Strictly Logical. Have you ever wondered why math is such a dreaded subject? Students know that mathematics is a subject where one can score well provided we make no stupid mistakes. But one wrong number, one wrong sign and all dreams come crashing with it. Learning math requires practice and making mistakes is a part of the process. As Albert Einstein once said, anyone who has never made a mistake hasn't tried anything new. Making mistakes in math is a good thing and can help kids learn and understand more deeply. So everything is just a learning phase. Here I am sharing top tips that will save you a lot of marks and could even save your grade. So let's begin. Tip number one is silly mistakes aren't silly. Take it very seriously. Please do not ever sweep it away as just another silly mistake. Instead, do your corrections. Beat yourself up a little as the discomfort will train yourself to watch out for it. Tip number two is check your work by substituting final answers back into original equation. For any problem that involves solving equations, be it algebraic, simultaneous, so modulus, logarithmic or trigonometric equations, always substitute the final answer back to the original equation and verify its accuracy using a calculator. This is the fastest way to know whether you are right. Tip number three is always make sure you copy the question correctly. Copying the question wrongly is the most painful careless error possible. You will not get half a working mark even if you had done the rest of the question diligently and properly. Tip number four is strengthen your mental calculation through training. You should be able to at least do basic addition, subtraction, multiplication and division mentally. The more you strengthen this aspect, the stronger will be your number sense. A good number sense is like Spider-Man's spider sense. It alerts you when a mistake is nearby. Tip number 5 is practice lot and checking. The more you practice, the sharper your skills will be. Aside from practicing lots of math questions, it's important to practice checking as well. Checking to spot error is a different skill itself. Each topic or type of question has its own way of checking effectively. Tip number 6. Insist on finding the careless error yourself. If you are studying with a friend or tutor or parent and they manage to spot your careless error, warn them not to tell you the error. This would deprive you the opportunity to practice spotting careless mistakes. Only allow them to help you if the mistake is a conceptual one or not a careless one. Tip number 7 is when doing algebra, students often make a careless mistake because their written Z looks like a 2. So start writing Z with some other technique or just use a strike through for Z or you can write Z in the cursive writing. Same goes for capital X and for the multiplication sign. Tip number 8 is always check your units. There are tricky exam questions that traps you into making errors. One such way is to vary the units. It is possible for the dimensions of a rectangle to be labeled 3 meter by 20 centimeter. Some students will neglect the units and end up finding the area as 3 into 20 that is 60 meter square. Tip number 9 is do not skip too many steps. If you do so, you will make careless mistakes. Also, don't try to do much in one step. Break it down into smaller steps. Tip number 10. Don't mix up power and multiplication. It just so happens that 2 raised to the power 2 is 4, 2 into 2 is also 4, but 2 raised to the power 3 is not 6 and 3 raised to the power 3 is not 9. Yet I have seen these kinds of errors so often. Tip number 11 is place more focus when checking the beginning of your working. When the top is wrong, the rest are wrong. If the question involves several steps, you get zero marks since there is no error carry forward. If the bottom is wrong, at least you still get some marks at the top. However, because of our eagerness to jump into a new question, the top part of every question is often the most vulnerable to careless. So please spend more effort checking the top part of every working. Last but not the least, 12th tip is Compile your math careless mistakes during practice. Make a habit to compile all the types of careless mistakes that you're making during math practice. You can compile it on the front of your math notes or on a separate notebook. Keep track of the kinds of dumb mistakes that you make and watch out for them during exams. 
After following these points, I do hope you get your answer on how to avoid careless mistakes in maths.